I want to thank our fans who recommended this film in the comments. What do you think happens when you put an aging Elvis and John F. Kennedy together to fight off an Egyptian mummy's curse, plaguing a convalescent home in East Texas? I knew there was something fishy about that sign. I'm talking about Bubba Hotep from 2002. Thank you, thank you very much. This down-home supernatural film stars the mighty Bruce Campbell himself, though in this film... Groovy. You treat me like a baby again, I'll wrap this goddamn walker right around your head. He's lagging in his later years as a cat named Sebastian Half. I don't mind calling you Elvis, but you a little confused and you like to play sometimes. You were an Elvis impersonator, remember? ...who thinks he's actually the king of rock and roll himself. I thought he was dead. Hell no, I'm right here. I ain't dead. Yet. And legend Ozzie Davis, who's a fellow pal of Big E's and thinks he's former President John F. Kennedy. No offense, but President Kennedy was a white man. That's how clever they are. They dyed me this color. All over. As a dear viewer, whether you believe they actually are who they say they are. What's that? I thought it was Lyndon Johnson. But I was wrong. Or suffering from father time, it doesn't matter. The ruse is fantastic, and I prefer to believe they are. Which all the more delivers what would be a typical murder by numbers plot. It sort of is. Help me. With much more of a personal journey that each of these men take to fulfill one last destiny. No time for regrets, Elvis. We were the best fathers we could be under the circumstances. With Jack discovering. That's it. I mean, we're investigating a sculling in the hall, trying to figure out who attacked you last night. You bring me in here to look at stick pictures on the shithouse wall, man? Translating in the best way possible. Cleopatra does the nasty. Say what? While piecing together local information and soul-sucking lore. He was after my soul. Now, you can get that out of any major orifice of a person's body. I read about it. Jack has in his possession not only a curious collection of JFK Dallas Day memorabilia hanging on his walls, but a book called The Everyday Man or Woman's Book of the Soul, which has an interesting H.P. Lovecraft reference. I think you know what I'm getting at, Mr. President. We're gonna kill us a mummy. Good old Bubba Hotep starts sucking souls from the local tenants through any orifice he can wrap his mouth around. <laughs> Asshole. With Elvis dipping in and out of flashes of his day as he is zonked on his made-to-fit bed. To the exchanges between the nurse, played by Ella Joyce. I think you better take a cold shower, Mr. Hare. There have been two presidential elections since I had a boner like that one. These little moments between the two are both touching and sad. Director Don Cascarelli never makes a typical film. Phantasm is one of my all-time favorites, and it's good to see that he always has Reggie popping up in a cameo here and there. What do I care? I got a growth on my picker. Okay, Mr. Half, don't, don't worry about a thing. We'll, we'll call the exterminator tomorrow, and we'll take care of the problem. Good, for thank you. you. Don Maybe. also puts to question about mortality in oneself. Mr. President. And when it's time to push off from this mortal coil. <laughs> In the beginning of the film, Elvis is downtrodden and depressed as anyone would be in that state. Elvis and Jack and their perhaps real persona felt they both got a bum rap, one crapping out on the can and the other becoming a permanent backseat driver. Their decisions and actions to take on Bubba Hotep shines a better light on them in the end, saving the world from that pesky. So if you're looking for an odd ball of a good time with a little heart and reflection, then this pile of bones might just be for you. Until next time. But first, would you like a ding-dong? Oh, I don't mean mine. I mean a chocolate ding-dong. You got ding-dongs, man? Visit our Etsy store this summer for sales across the board. With a new Lovecraft PI book on its way, we want to make certain you're all caught up on this Paranormal Detectives adventures. We just added some new merch we unearthed and looking to clean house to make way for what's to come. Promo code is listed in the description below. So click links below to be notified. Many thanks for the support. And hail Cthulhu.